Hey, I'm Amy. Thanks so much for joining me today. Here on my channel, I like to talk about makeup and beauty and skincare. Sometimes talk about books and keto, all kinds of different hobbies that I have. Today, I'm so excited to share with you the six products that I have hit pan on in 2023. This year, I'm on a no buy for makeup. And even though I have broken that no buy, um, overall I am spending a lot less money on makeup products and bringing in substantially less than I did last year. So my goal, you know, is to use up certain products and hit pan on certain things, which if you're not familiar, because when I started watching videos, um, pan, hitting pan is really all about hitting the bottom of the product. So you're using it enough to where you're hitting the bottom of that. And this is one that I had already hit pan on. And as you can see right there, lots and lots of that silver pan are showing. So just in case you didn't know what that meant, there you go. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna talk about is not really something I could hit pan on, but I did recently take out the stopper in this product, and I did a short um, de uh, de detailing me doing that, so I'll link that for you if you wanna check it out. And it's my Rare Beauty Liquid Blush. This is the shade Bliss. Um, I took the stopper out because it was getting to the point where when I pulled out the wand, there wasn't really very much product left in it. So I took the stopper out and there's lots and lots left. Now this is a lighter color, so I am able to kind of use more of this than I can for some of the other Rare Beauty products. I love this cream blush. It's um, very light, easy to apply, and all of the Rare Beauty blushes are um, very blendable. So I love that. Um, a surprise to me um, on hitting pan was from my Max, MAC Studio Fix Conceal and Correct palette. I had just previously finished this shade as concealer and now I've hit pan on the color corrector. So, so excited about that. That was not um, something I was anticipating. I think with consistent use by the end of the year, I may be able to also hit pan on this concealer so I maybe we'll have used up the entire side this is a very dewy concealer set like today you can see under my eyes it's very dewy and I've powdered it like twice so I don't really use this a whole whole lot because of my aging eyes I don't like for it to be very dewy or obviously very dry so it's a fine line for me here this was on my list of 23 products to pan in 2023, and I did it, you guys. Um, I did this in uh, the month of June, I believe, and this is the Bobbi Brown Golden Light Bronzing Powder, and it's just a mini of this, and it's taken me like three years to, to hit that pan. And so once I hit the pan, I wanted to go ahead and continue using it for the month of May, and I did it. It's getting harder because the pan is so small to get some product out, but I'm gonna continue to kind of alternate this with another bronzer that I'm using. Okay, from my Sigma Ambiance palette, I have hit pan in an eyeshadow, which, you know, is very easy to do considering it is this color right here, which is called Days, and it's just um, a very basic cream colored shade that I use to set my eyeshadow primer. So I was very excited. This was the first pan that I hit in 2023. Very excited about that. Um, okay, so the what two more products. The next one that I hit pan on, which was totally, again, not expecting, is this KVD Good Apple Foundation Balm, I believe. Skin Perfecting Foundation Balm. I use the shade Light 12. And I hit pan on that a couple months ago. And I really think I'm on track that I could finish this whole thing for this year. I 
I was very surprised about that. I love this, but you have to be really careful because it's very thick and has very good coverage. So sometimes you can put a little too much on and it might look a little cakey. So you definitely want to be careful with this and applying just the right amount. And the last pan that I hit in 2023, I'm very excited about. It is from my Pan Nap palette. Oh, okay. I'll tell you that in a second. From my Pan Nap palette, which is the Benefit Cheek Stars Reunion Tour palette. And I hit Pan in the shade Sugar Bomb. Isn't she cute? I had already hit Pan on this um, cookie highlighter, and I had already hit Pan and repressed Hula. So when I just opened this up, a whole bunch of hula has come out. And see, I'm not someone that's like, oh, I'm gonna save this. No, I've gotten my money's worth out of hula, and so I'm, I am not going to repress that back in there. So this palette is very well loved, and it's showing three pans now. I cannot believe it. Okay, I hope that you found this video exciting, inspirational, and if you learned a little bit, maybe, perhaps, you might want to consider subscribing to my channel if you like project panning um, videos and just being encouraged to be a mindful consumer here on my channel. That is the theory. I will see you in my next video on Wednesday. Bye.